Okay, welcome to the Cannonball Run problem-based learning activity. This activity is going to ask you to find a map going from New York City, the Big Apple, to Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis, Indiana. So let's go over what it is talks about Mr. McCall's and Mr. Courtney are headed to the NFL Monday night football game featuring the New York Giants versus the Indianapolis Colts. They're planning on flying into Newark Airport and will be staying in New York City Friday night. They're waking up Saturday morning at 8 a.m. and driving to Lucas Oil Stadium. Okay, here's the deal. The person who has given them the tickets has also given them a driving challenge. The benefactor will give each of them $1,000 for every state that they drive through in their trip from New York to Indiana. They have 24 hours to drive through as many states as they can, but they need to be in the stadium within 24 hours of leaving New York City. Using Google Maps, you will need to start your trip at the Hilton Hotel in Times Square and finish at Lucas Oil Stadium. You are allowed to enter only one location on the Google Maps, that's not leaps, for each state visited. Your starting and ending points are given, but from there on, it's up to you. You will need to monitor your time and make sure that your trip does not exceed 24 hours. So, let's show an example of how we can do this. So, let's go to Google. Let's go to Google Maps. And let's type in, I'll type in New York Hilton in the Midtown. So that's where we're going to start. And then directions and let's flip that. You see this reverse starting point because we want to start in New York and then we want to choose our destination. We want to go to Lucas, Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis, Indiana. All right. So in this instance, it would take 11 hours and nine minutes going from New York City to Lucas Oil Stadium. Now, we look up here and we see that we only have two spots. We have our starting spot and our ending spot. So this would warrant two states and we would get $2,000. But this only took me 11 hours, so I've got a quite a bit amount of time. What if I wanted to stop off in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's pretty close to that. So let's add a destination. And let's enter in. We hit that add a destination. Let's write Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Now, notice what happened here. Pittsburgh, in this instance, we would start in New York, go to Indianapolis, and then go to Pittsburgh. But I don't want to end in Pittsburgh. I want to end in Lucas Oil. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to drag it in between New York and Indiana. And now we see that I go to New York, I'm in Pennsylvania, and I'm in Indianapolis. And notice my time now, 11 hours, 38 minutes. So this is the path that I'm traveling. So at this point, now I have $3,000. So I would be given $3,000, but I got some major time still left. I still have almost 12 hours. So I'm going to add another state. Well, I see that Cincinnati is pretty close. Let's enter in Cincinnati, Ohio. Again, notice when I enter in that destination, it puts it at the end. I don't want it at the end. I want it after Pittsburgh and before Indiana. I could put it there, but that would eat up too much time. So now my route starts in New York, goes to Pittsburgh, then Cincinnati, and then Indianapolis. So now I have four states that I've used, and I would now get $4,000. Hmm, what if I wanted to go to Greensboro? Let's try that. Oops, sorry. I forgot to. Here's Greensboro, North Carolina. Whoa. So I'm going to put that. Now, is it better 
to go to New York, Pittsburgh, Cincinnati, Greensboro, and then Lucas? What if I, and that would take me 27 hours, so I wouldn't be able to do that. Remember, I have to do it within 24 hours. So what if I put Greensboro, Greensboro in between there? All right. So that got me under the 24 hours. What if I put it above Pittsburgh? Would that save me time? Ooh. All right. So that was 2131. If I did it the other way, I was 2156. Yeah. So if I went to Greensboro first and then Pittsburgh, then Columbus or Cincinnati, and then Lucas, I'm under the 24 hours, and I now have one, two, three, four, five stops. So I would make $5,000. So this is what you need to do is you need to find out how far can you venture. And if you look at states, there are lots of different ways to get through states and get to Lucas Oil. But you have to find the most efficient way. And it will be based upon these entries. So you're going to have to take a screenshot of this. And we're going to enter that in to... Um, hmm, I want you to email me that screenshot. So um, let's do the screenshot. That screenshot should have all of your destinations and a picture of the map along with total time that it would take you to go. Sound good? I'm excited to see what your uh, outcomes are and how close, how many can you get within 24 hours? Good luck.